And we're back. Hello. Hi. Um, Welcome. To continue my uh, story, I noticed that uh, I, I said I said everything about um, that Europea restaurant that I went to, except I noticed in my notes because I forgot that I actually took notes for that too. Um, I noticed uh, one thing that I forgot to mention, and that was like half the meals basically just had like pop rocks in them and they thought that that was like cool ah, it was like very cool it was like oh crackles in your mouth bro and it's like <laughs> this is like a meat dish <laughs> adam like, it's all about that mouth feel it's so stupid yeah it was like the most pretentious dumb shit and it's like you eat it and i'm like all i'm thinking of is pop rocks like it's like cheap candy that's what it feels like by the end of it so it's the second cheap candy experience of that meal <laughs> yeah Exactly. Um, yeah, Men in Black, Carlos Santana. All right, so we, uh, I decided to go on the Fast and Furious Supercharged. Is that the one that killed Paul Walker? Yeah. Yeah. It was too fast. Too furious. Yeah. No, that was the second movie. <laughs> um, yeah, it was... Uh, Giga Chad? cringe. Oh, I see. It was very, very cringe. Um, basically, uh, they had. It felt like the entire thing was centered around John Cena getting no. Ludacris and <laughs> who else was in it? Like the Chinese guy. No, I'm a girl. A the Rock. Michelle Rodriguez, I think. Maybe Vin, Vin Rodriguez. Um, it felt centered around just like watching them on video screens. Like the actors from the movie are there. <laughs> it's like okay, this is a pre-recorded video they made for the ride. Yeah, and so much like other rides, you know, they have you in the room looking at a video screen before you're on the actual ride, just so you can do something while you're essentially still waiting in line. You know, yeah. to funnel through people at different sections of the ride. Uh, and um, what was interesting about uh, this one is like, they s still kind of had the LARPy uh, actor element as the Poseidon ride, uh, where on the video screen that's pre-recorded with Ludacris and Lud sorry, Christopher Bridges. Cr and uh, Lloyd's son. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, you know, whatever universal... Uh, studios actor ride theme park actor that's just playing along with it and saying you know being like over and out and stuff like that except yeah. the woman for the, the second room the woman in the second room she was a larger woman she was so fucking funny she was she was like the best part of the whole universal studio it was like very dry humor the rock showed up, but she was clearly saying things that were like she wasn't supposed to. Was she sassy? Yeah, she was. Love well, it. she wasn't sassy. Oh. No, she was very dry humor and, okay. and um, uh, sort of a sort of the Dimitri Martin of big bitches. I have no idea who that is. Hmm. Um, Dan Mintz. Hmm. Dan Mintz. Oh, I don't know. I'm going with uh, esoteric uh, dry humor alt comics. I'll I'll hit one eventually. Don't worry. Anyway, um, yeah, so, like, The Rock would show up on the screen. She'd be like, that's my husband. And, like, just nice. <laughs> dumb, nice. sh dumb shit like that. It's like, okay, clearly they didn't like ask you to say that. You just, you're, you're using your own. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Come on, why am I frozen? If you dig the bullet out, you get better. Yeah, it's the bullet that's causing you to die. <laughs> uh-oh, they're coming from all angles. Mm. Let's, uh, let's leave. All the angles. Right, left, Kurt, uh -oh. Chris. Oh, now they don't know where angle. I am. Mind freak. Um, anyway, I lined up for that ride under the impression, and I don't know why I didn't look it up, under the impression that it was like kind of a new ride, and I guess it kind of was, but it still ah. felt very outdated and very embarrassing. <laughs> Um, so yeah, a lot of video screens and then much like the, uh, much like the King Kong ride, you're basically just in, in a, you know, 20 person 
pretend vehicle that's going on a track, and there's video screens to the side, and you're wearing, like, 3D glasses, maybe. And, um... What, uh... Oh. <laughs> that should do it. Renee! Zap! Come on. Imagine playing this game with Come guns. on! Fuck you. No! This fuck! I was healing! Mm. Fuck you! Everybody died. Everybody died. <sighs> Whatever. I just want to not run into them on my way there. Where am I going? Right here. Can I zip line there? Ooh. No, that's the wrong way. There's a, oh, there's a zip line that way. Can I zip line up? <laughs> um. Anyway, uh, a lot of embarrassing, fake, dumb, like for babies, video screen, ludicrous nonsense, and it was just boring. And then the the first part of the ride, um, you're on like the vehicle, and there's screens to the side. Um, there was you're like driving past like a club, and there's like a shitty hologram thing so of like a bunch of dancing people that are just, it's just, it doesn't feel authentic in any way. It's just like, okay, you're just watching a stock video of people dancing. And then there's like, you know, some dumb excuse of like, oh, they got to get out the people out of here. Blah, blah, blah. Let's go. Blah. And then at that point, we're supposed to be like moving forward, but something in the ride was like fucked up. And we were just kind of stuck there. Huh. And the video uh, replayed. It like it, it reset oh, as boy. if it was waiting for the next group. And so then there was just a frozen frame of the dancers at the beginning just stuck there. <laughs> and it was really awkward. And we were all just kind of like sitting there like, this is clearly not supposed to be happening. Like this ride is broken. How do we handle this? Yeah, it was just like, this is a frozen frame that we're just seeing. And then it like after like a minute of like silence... It just like slowly moved forward to the next like screen area, and uh, and then it was like, "Whoa, you're you're like on a road and you're going fast, bro!" And uh, it was really yeah, I broke the game IRL. It was really embarrassing and just like so lame. Um, I forgot to go to checkout on our food order, so I'm gonna do that here. Motherfucker. Whatever. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Food time, food time. Okay. All right. Anyway, yeah. Giga cringe. Yeah, we sat That's there for at least a minute looking at a paused hologram was in my notes. Fun. Uh, sprayed with water. Oh, yeah, because, like, you're, like, in the, on the context of the ride, it's just, like, you're on a road and there's, like, explosions and just, like, fucking, I don't know. The Rock's doing backflips or something. I don't know. It was like really... It was overstimulating and just incomprehensible. Yeah. And then just like at one point, like we get splashed by water. I'm like, what was the con What was the water for? And then my boyfriend explained yeah. after like, I guess like gasoline from one of the vehicles is what it was supposed oh. to be or something. Like, I don't know. I don't know. It was like really difficult to interpret. Cute. And it was, yeah, on the app, the universal app, when you're looking around and have the map, it had these big letters saying new, like it advertised itself as being new. And it was just like, so, so lame. It was over before you knew it. And by the end of the ride, I'm just going to pause for this. Bit. It was over before you knew it. And by the end of the ride, like there was a sense of confusion from everyone of just like, it's over. Like that was it. Like every, Everybody, like the twenty some people, were just like, "What? Huh? Like, that, oh, every that's it? Okay." Like the rides at Universal, like there is just this universal <laughs> feeling of disappointment from everyone. <laughs> like it's just universally it's, disappointing studio. It's really what it is. It's just the mood is so different from Disney World. It's just absolutely insane. Your uh, your Wi Fi is dead. With his treasure ships, out trying to collect riches for the Mings. Remember him? Yes, Mr. Buxer, of course I remember. Answer that like that, right? When I ask you a question, answer me back, all right? Well, the fucking thing is, he's got this captain called Lin Kong. And Lin Kong goes fucking King Kong? 
with his ship's hold at the Chang'yang full of Barclays, right? And he settles right here, enslaves all the locals, but Zing He, mm, fucking Zing He, he sinks his little empire in just a few years. What do you think happened to the treasure? Very good question, young Jays, very astute. Well, the treasure, the treasure, nobody knows where it is. It's not on the boat anymore. Hmm? And Lin Kong, our fuckers know where to be found. Treasure hunters have been after that crap ever since. Even the bloody chaps tore the island apart looking for it, but nobody knows where it is. So best not to all chase. Hmm? Chin up. Good luck. I, uh... Yeah, so that was giga cringe. Advertised as new on the app. <laughs> and it was just like, it, okay. <laughs> like, it feels old. Um... The... So this was, like, nearing the end of the day. Um, and so we were thinking, like, oh, we'll go back to the first park to, to try the Velocicoaster or something. Mm -hmm. And um, instead of just walking to the first park, we're like, let's take the Harry Potter ride. Goddamn right. So it's a train ride, like a very slow train. With and like you a love trains. Twains. It's a twain ride. I Some call me a very slow train. <laughs> I, I would never, See? but some do. No. Oh. Anyway, um... So we... We did that. There was a long line for it. And what's kind of fucking annoying about it is, like, we thought about it after the fact. They... It's... A ride that you can use to get between parks. And it doesn't take that long to walk from one park to the other. Uh -huh. Because they're so close. But it's essentially what they've created is a ride that you have to have tickets for both parks to use. Ha ha! So that's what they're they're like. Clever girls. If you wanna, if you wanna go on the Harry Potter ride, the train ride, you have to have a ticket to both parks. Mm -hmm. So that's just kind of annoying. And it was like, oh, fuck you, really? Um, and it was like, really. Uh, I don't know, if you're the biggest Harry Potter fucking... I am. ...fanatic ever... Well, I get, I get, the books are fine. I like the author's politics. Yeah, exactly. Um, if that's your thing, then you might, you know... What's more interesting than the ride is, like, just the train platform, because it's like, oh, nine and three quarters or whatever. Mm -hmm. And it's just like, I'm there. <laughs> but, like, I don't give a shit about Harry Potter. I really don't. And so I was just kind of like, eh. And then the ride itself was, like, cute... Yeah. But, so, like, you're all in individual train carts. Everybody gets, like, a s screen. I mean, like, four people to each train cart, I mean. Um, each train cart, there's a screen. You're m you're moving physically very slowly in a train. Uh, and then the video screen outside is just like, oh, but it's like I'm in London. <laughs> like, <laughs> old basically. Lo old London town, you say? Yeah. Um, with some, you know, occasionally, like, a magic thing happening. And then, like, there would be silhouettes on the door leading to the main part of the train. There would be, like, a silhouette shadow animation of, like, the Harry Potter characters, like, Oh, we gotta use our spells because fucking <laughs> Chibli Drop yep. is, uh, he's turning into us into a frog. He is. <laughs> so, I don't remember. It was a, that sounds right. It's just kind of right. lame. Um, it was cute, but, like, not, I wouldn't call it a ride. It, and it also like the video screens look dated. It was like these are not like high resolution screens. It's, that was kind of annoying. It's like you could, it, there was no effort being made to try and make it seem not like a screen. So that was kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. And so then, yeah, around like eight thirty p.m., you know, the park's starting to close or whatever. The previous day at Disney, it's like, oh, there's fireworks at 9 p.m. Everybody's like, oh, wait, got to get in one last ride. Got to go to the fireworks. 8.30 yeah. p.m. at Universal Studios, everyone looks like in serious <laughs> levels of regret. Like, everyone <laughs> everyone looks exhausted. They just want to go. Like It's like everyone's face looks just fucking miserable. And there's such a mood throughout the entire park of like, <laughs> like oh, God, we shouldn't have come here. Like, everything sucked. I don't know why we spent money here. Like, this is just like, yeah, just... Ju Tons of despair. Universal despair, like, everywhere. It was just like, holy shit. And, 
like the entire theme park even with like the newer rides it felt like just like you were in a museum like it just it's, just, it's so outdated and it's like the fact that they're trying to compete with like Disney in any way is just like the most embarrassing cringe shit because it's just not comparable it's not comparable uh huh um like in Toontown or whatever the place of the cartoons they had like fucking Heathcliff like uh, who gives a shit property Heathcliff like who gives a shit like there's all these properties where it's like is this for like dead great grandma like who is this he's for like, he's like Garfield but he fucks more like who is this for legit it was so crazy it's just an embarrassing theme park um and I will never go back there. Like, that was just... I was shocked that it basically hadn't changed since I was a kid. And even when I was a kid, it was, like, pushing the limits of, like... <laughs> you know... Uh, Relevancy? Retro yeah, exactly. I didn't notice it as much as a kid. Sure. But, like... Kid. Yeah, it was, like... It was genuinely embarrassing. It was... <laughs> I... You know, it was worth going there to have that perspective, especially right after Disney World... And just like sort of, you know, laugh at it or whatever, and mock it. But like, holy fuck! As a genuine experience, like, no way am I going back there. That was like, that was awful. Like a terrible theme park. Um, and uh, yeah, that that took the whole day. And then by the end of it, yeah, like we got back to uh, the Velocicoaster, hoping that it would be a shorter line, but it was still like. 90 minutes to two hours and I was like God I was in so much pain from standing in lines all mm -hmm. day for two days in a row and my back hurt and I was like you know to my boyfriend I was like how important is it like can we yeah, he's like yeah we should go like <laughs> we, like the mood was soured like yeah. it was just like a miserable place and it was like even the one coaster that looked like kind of cool it was no just ride like, is going to save this. it's like yeah it's just like not worth it to be there like I just want to I wanted to be out of that world because it was just such a miserable. I want to not be a here miserable anymore. place. The um, like even the, the, like the employees operating the rides and stuff, like they looked like they did not want to. Be, like they were just they were just miserable. Well, they're all prison labor. Yeah, at least at Disney World, they like, I don't know, pretend to be happy. I respect that. But like. They all looked fucking miserable at Universal <laughs> Studios. Like, everybody just... Nobody wanted to be there. Nobody... Uh-oh. Nobody wanted to be there. The, like, the patrons... Die. Patrons, the Patreons... Nobody wanted to be there. Alright. And, uh... Yeah, that was just... Yeah, they see... I guess they were underpaid or something. <laughs> um yeah absolutely completely different experience like holy shit mm -hmm. i was not expecting that um just the i thought it would at least be like i don't know an attempt at you know being comparable like trying to make like a theme park and not just like well <laughs> you spent money here and uh now you're stuck here we you got better, you. Yeah. You've been pranked. Yeah. So that was the second out of three days of theme park shit. And the... Oh, yeah. One thing that was really... Okay. I have two more notes left for Universal. Uh, the toilet water was too high. <laughs> oh. At Universal, my balls Wet touched balls? the yeah. disgusting toilet water. It, it is a jarring feeling. I was very upset about when that. those balls dip. Every you're, toilet you can was never too high. be ready for it. Yeah, I was like, yeah, it was absolutely disgusting. Um, not a problem at Disney World. Universal can't use high you can't you can't water. sit on the toilet. Um, and another thing that was very funny, uh, because I um. There, there was just the way that they seem to have like no oh wow no care about like 
even pretending to be like a fun and friendly place. <laughs> Essentially, um, there were three. There were three D rides at Disney World. There were three D rides at Universal Studios. At Disney World, much like I don't know a movie theater or something. Yeah. They just have a bin at the end of the ride for you to put your three D glasses, no matter what kind of ride, whatever. Fair. Uh, at Universal Studios. They have, on multiple different rides, they have signs saying there's a tracking device in the glasses and that they'll, you'll, they'll punish you if you try to leave the park with them. If Even you try to leave the ride area. definitely a lie. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a lie because that would be way too expensive. Yeah. But the fact that they're trying to like psychologically yeah. like scare people into returning them is just kind of like not like a happy environment you know like it's no it's uh it's not like exactly wants, the vibe you want yeah who wants to be there like holy shit you know from the beginning of the park you're just like i'm going through tsa to go on shittier rides matt's here and he's oh hello <laughs> hello we've got uh my cousins here oh boy Um, thank you. Um, thank you so much. Thank you very, very much. Uh, we have an emergency spring roll break. You can, uh, yeah. Okay. yeah, sit there and set up the mic, uh, whatever way is comfortable for you. Cool. Your, uh, it's your, already there. Your headphones there as well. Your wife, your Wi-Fi is dead. On the, uh, oh, that's what you meant. It is what I meant. Okay. But <laughs> well, we're going to tinker with that, uh, BRB. Hello, everybody. Hi. We are back. Continuing this Far Cry 3 playthrough. Um, my my cousin has arrived. Matt, you may remember Matt from the uh, Shrek Beat Saber Woo! stream. I was racking my brain to remember what it was we were doing yeah. when you were last year. I'm yeah. Like, there was, was yeah, we've done active. that. We've done Jackbox. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, think I think there's like an ancient time. fusion frenzy one we did. Yes, there yes. was a fusion yeah. frenzy. Absolutely, yeah, we did a few. We did. Yeah. We did Pokemon. I was trying to find that the other day to show my friends. Oh, which Pokemon? I was like, well, I was trying to show them that I played Pokemon on live stream, and then I just you had so many Pokemon live streams to look <laughs> which, through. I was like, oh, which Pokemon were you like? What? what oh, game, like the though? card game. The oh yeah, game. TCG. Oh yeah, there's no way you're gonna find that one. There's, there's no chance it. in the world you will ever find that. <laughs> yeah. I looked, I unless like, you invent shit. an AI to do it for you. I just kept listening. I was like, I think this is my voice, and then it was just some other guy, and I was like, uh, no okay, grenade! Not me. Ow! I'm just taking a shrapnel out. What's my first Sona? Well, you last time I what was, was here. What was the last time? Yeah, I killed myself. Yeah, yeah. You guys gave me. Um, I should have Panther grabbed their tank. Weapon. I think it was Panther oh, tank. Oh, that's right. Yeah. <laughs> How could I forget? <laughs> that's yeah. right. I forgot about um, that. So. So. Uh, over the course of this stream. Over the course of human events. Uh, I've been telling a story about my trip, and. But it's all lies. Acid trip? What kind mm, of trip? No. Oh. But also <laughs> um, about my trip to Montreal and Florida. Okay. And yeah. so it'll be, uh, you know, probably edited into like a highlight thing later. But so I'm, you know, telling bits of the story, killing some enemies, going back to the story again, sort of thing. Um, and uh, we are so I I talked about, you know, I did over the course of three days. I did um, theme parks at. Uh, you know, uh, at Orlando. So first day, two parks at Disney World. Second day, two parks at Universal Studios. And I just finished talking about how cringe and embarrassing it was. Like, it was legitimately, like, awful, like, unintentionally retro, outdated, embarrassing shit. Unintentionally retro is a very funny vibe. I know. Like, we're <laughs> like you're not advertising yourself as a retro theme We're old, and we hope you don't notice. <laughs> yeah, like holy shit, it was it's so pretty much just Congress. <laughs> yeah, dude, I don't shot at you. Intentionally retro is just oh, he's politicians. Dead. <laughs> yeah. I see that. I gotta bring the roof down. Oh yeah. Well, that sounds fun. Did you did you do the mummy ride? I remember that being fun. I, I don't know, know if that exists anymore. I didn't see Sad. it. Then that's the worst park ever. <laughs> they fucking fuck have it. gone to shit. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> I don't know. Um, oh, yeah. What was weird is um, there was one thing I actually... Uh, there was Yeah, there was one ride I remember enjoying at 
Universal Studios when I was younger. And it was a... Um, it was essentially like a kind of theatrical thing. It was, I think it was called Earthquake. Yes. And yeah, it was like... Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah that they, were yeah. they were essentially like teaching you like movie-making special effects... Like during the right, so yeah, obviously or I liked that as a kid. There was the Twister one. I think that one replaced Earthquake, oh, okay. um, but it was that similar Twister and it used fun. certain the same things. I actually looked up on Wikipedia because I was wondering where it went, and uh, the Earthquake and the uh, Twister one, shit, they turned into, they you know one turned into the other, and then it got replaced with the Fast and Furious ride, which was just absolute cringe and just embarrassing. So. Um, yeah, it's fat and furious now. That's right. that's right. That's um, Brendan Fraser. Yeah, <laughs> the whale. On, um, I saw a picture of him the other day, and that was that was frightening. He's scary. Yeah. The whale is a horror movie, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> Toilet water too high, and they scare you into returning the 3D glasses at Universal. All right, so Disney World, day two. So the third day of, you know, fucking theme park shit, but the second day at Disney. So uh, this day... Oh, so did you go Disney, Universal, other Disney? Yeah. Interesting. Well, there's four parks of Disney. Yeah. And I think it made sense just to do it that way. I'm glad we did it that way, because, that way, like... So you can end first on something day, good? <laughs> well, I mean, like, I didn't realize how shit Universal would be. Mm -hmm. Showing up at that on the first day would have been, like... Do I, I like even want to do theme parks? Anymore. Like, yeah, like, what is... Is this my whole trip? Is this how lame it's going to be? Like, did I <laughs> misremember as a kid? <laughs> and if and if Universal was the last day, that would have just been an awful way Terrible to, like, way to finish. finish. Yeah, no, yeah, best to do a, uh, a shit sandwich of theme parks. Yeah. We... Yeah, to... to yeah, space out the Disney days with a shitty Universal in between. Also, I forgot to mention... Um, I did at Universal, since we were still hungry after the cheeseburger in Paradise... We went to the uh, Simpsons uh, Krusty Krab restaurant. Oh, and oh, hold, 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 uh, hold, stop, stop, stop. Sorry, stop, not stop. Krusty Krab. You have uh, Krusty conflated a the number clown, of different properties. Krusty Burger. <laughs> Krusty Burger. What's funny is they did have a SpongeBob Krusty Krab building, and it wasn't a restaurant. It was just like a fucking gift shop. And ah. I was like, if you had a restaurant that advertised itself as having the official Krusty Krab burger, people would go there. People would fucking go there, okay? So whoever John Universal Get is it just together. Yeah, is very stupid. Uh, doesn't know what the fuck he's doing. We go to well, Krusty. I, uh, I mean, doesn't he know what the fuck he's doing? He hasn't had to spend a dime on this park in 25 years, and it is just printing money. One of the questions that I asked Google while I was there is, when do the rides close? And the first result was. Why does Universal Studios close so early? And mm. in, and the answer was uh, because someone was asking this in the off season. Apparently, they just close have uh, shorter hours in the off seasons because they can't afford to keep the park running because so few people are there, <laughs> which is very funny. Nice. Um, are you sure there were people like actually? They were robots. The rides? <laughs> I don't real know. People? Like everybody seemed miserable, so it seemed real. Yeah. yeah. Um, Anyway, so go to Disney, um, Animal Kingdom, yeah. which I was hyped for because I thought, you know, maybe I can get some Scar merch or something. Obviously. Um, and, uh, yeah, we went to every gift shop and they did not. What the fuck? So that was disappointing. There was some Simba shit, Disney. but whatever. What am I, a baby? Exactly. <laughs> um, There's got to be somewhere to activate it. Uh, I only like the mean adults from children's movies. I only like the Hitler characters. <laughs> <laughs> it's for, it's not for babies, okay? It's true. There's one thing I'll say about Hitler. He's not for babies. <laughs> um, except for baby oops. Hitler. Sure. Ow! Little sweet little six pound seven ounces. If you had baby a Hitler. time machine, would you go back? And molest baby Hitler. What would the outcome be? Well, that's the question. What What's the end goal? To stop World War II, I guess. Oh! Would it? Would it, turn, would it You sure <laughs> it just wouldn't it. turn him into incel Hitler? Or something <laughs> well, that, I, like, that's the gamble. Is that what happened? <laughs> that's the gamble. What if it's just the same Hitler, but also a pedophile? Because, you know. Then, then I'm going to describe that as a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> 
No. <laughs> <laughs> That's bad. I see no downside. Um, <laughs> first ride we went on at Animal Kingdom was Dinosaur. And Dinosaur? A yeah. Official sponsor of the stream? Yes. Um, oh. Holocausting pedophiles does sound like a... I don't know. That sounds like a good universal theme park. No, right, he's he's talking about pedophiling holocausters. Uh oh, I was. Oh, I don't know how I slipped. <laughs> um, yeah, first this is reading a comment by Chrono. The comment. Chrono. Um, I can't really see. I first glasses. ride I went. I can't read or write. <laughs> I can't read. First ride was Dino Sour Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Uh, I assumed just from the title it would be based on the film dinosaur from disney which is like i think for a long time it was like their only cg movie that wasn't from pixar Ooh. um i don't i remember enjoying it when i was a kid and i was like yeah i remember that you know, kind of like friendly looking dinosaur how about uh how about a best pixar movie ever the good dinosaur mm. um and uh who made land before time was that disney no 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 who was that? don mm -hmm. bluth no, it's, I think Spielberg Universal? was. Involved I don't know if Don this. Bluth is a company. <laughs> anyway, um, this Komodo dragons look really hard to tame. Well, yeah, with that attitude. <laughs> <laughs> no, give me a second here. Anyway, so this was like maybe one of the only Disney rides that felt like kind of dated. Mm. But it was still fun, okay. and it didn't feel like it was going to fall apart like the rides at Universal. <laughs> Good. Like, it was still like, oh, this is like a solid, oh, like 90s ish safe kind here. of. Were, were you ride. scared that the, the rides were going to fall apart when you were on them? Was at it Universal, that kind yeah. Of, oh I mean, the, the, cat, the go on the cat in the hat ride, you'll know what I mean. It was like, this is, this is hanging together by a thread. <laughs> like, this is not. No, nobody's updated this. Like people have died here, maybe. <laughs> it wasn't even like an intense ride. It was. <laughs> it's just like the shit's gonna fall on me from the ceiling. This is what you're saying. They got good lawyers. Maybe. They've got good cover-ups. Yeah. Um. But yeah, it was it the the dinosaur ride. It was very functional. It was um. Yeah, like atmospheric. There's some animatronics and like you're riding in like a jeep thing or whatever and just like in through a physical space lots of cool lighting and sound it was like it was surprisingly fun actually um not as good animatronics as pirates of the caribbean but still good and then um we went on a roller coaster called expedition everest which i probably wasn't going to go on but uh my boyfriend uh who by the way we're not naming matt uh, don't say his name on stream, thank you. Gotcha. Um, out that way. Uh, my boyfriend Scott. was... Uh, <laughs> Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> um, was... Uh, <laughs> that's what happened, if you're curious. Uh, he he was told, like, by a friend that, that, like, recommended him this thing, and I was like, okay. And um, wow. it turned out, like... The, you know, thematically, it's just like, what? It's not based on a movie. There's like some, I don't know, like Everest, like what? Yeti or something? A lot of Yetis on Everest. And uh, it's crawling. you think it's like really lame, but it was so cool and creative. There was like a part in the roller coaster where it like, it's like, you know, you're going through all these like turns and blah, 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 blah. And then there's a part where like, it you're, you're going upwards slowly and... It looks like the track was like destroyed, but like mm. clearly in that's, a that's cartoony reassuring. way, where it's like curved back. the The tracks are curved back upwards, right? And so behind you, what's taking place is they're shifting the track to another thing, and then you start going backwards like really fast. Ooh. And it was really, yeah, it was like, oh man, yeah. There was the whole Yeti angle, and yeah, it was it was Seems really fun. really cool. Um, it was fun. It was cinematic. It was unique. It was thrilling. Uh, would recommend Expedition Everest and cool. breaking your thumb. In um, in what order? Yeah, doesn't matter. Okay. Um, oh, the other rides you have to do that to ride the <laughs> ride. <laughs> Ow. Okay. So. 
that was a, a recommended ride from Universal. Are we still on that, Universal? No, we're on Disney. Back oh, Disney. Disney. Oh, okay. No, you're oh, not going to hear a sucked. lot of uh, recommended okay, yeah. uh, rides from uh, Universal. I don't know where we're at, guys. Yeah. But, uh, like, Universal sucked, right? Nothing Nothing was good. Univ no I'm trying to think qualities. of the best ride I went on on Universal. It was like, Simpsons? I don't know, that shitty old Spider-Man one at the beginning. What about Simpsons? Simpsons, it was fine. So they didn't have the mummy ride. I didn't see it. What? I bet it was. I don't there. know. I bet it was there. Maybe it was there. It. I have no idea. Cause that was always like I had. I think I've been. How old were you? You put a track. Oh, I don't know. Like Cause 15. I remember enjoying Universal when I was a baby, also. <laughs> but <laughs> I was like it, going was, like, back there. Is, the it was like depressing. You calling the shots now? I think I've been to. Cause there's a there's a the Orlando one and there's a um, California one, right? There's two. There's so uh, yeah, I went. I to went the, to Orlando, so if yeah, you yeah. went to Cal, I don't know. If, yeah, I don't know. Anyway, maybe I, I don't quite remember. I don't know. I was young. You're calling the shots. Hagrid's and Velocicoaster hey, is about it. Yeah, those were the two that they didn't let us go on with the fast pass, <laughs> so, so we didn't fast do. Pass on. <laughs> the fast pass thing sounds so confusing when he tried to explain it to me. I was explaining to you the Disney one the other day. The Universal one was basic, but oh, okay. anyway, I'll wait until this cutscene's over to continue the story. Go on, put the compass piece in. Magic. Oh. I'll start off then, I've, I? There, there's no person it's less like... impressed by magic than this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he, He's like, oh, yeah, it's glowing by itself. Yeah, it's fine. We got yeah, stuff to do. He comes magic. <laughs> Ooh, chicken's here soon. Um, There's a uh, another sit down, like, you know, bring your kids, uh, like, 3D thing at Disney World. And it was called It's Tough to Be a Bug, and it was a Bug's Life thing in the Animal Kingdom. I'm more of an ants guy myself. Uh-huh. Woody Allen. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I I wanted to do it because I remember d doing it as a kid, and I wanted to feel a bit nostalgic, you know, something that I had a vivid memory of, or at least parts of. Is this the 4D, like, like sitting yeah. in the theater one, where it's yeah. the diff like yeah. bugs hitting your legs or whatever and yeah or poking in your butt and whatever that doesn't sound right <laughs> no no there's like a part where the the you're um i don't know it's like oh my god the the stinger get your stingers out and then they start to just like poke there are back. things that they okay. put in your seats that you're you're not aware are there until it happens right. and it touches you and your butt and it's Exactly. Like, whoa, and it catches you off guard. They, and it was you have cool. to sign a waiver, but Your you, butt. you don't have yeah. to sign a waiver. <laughs> you sign a, you sign a waiver for it to go up your ass. You sign <laughs> you <laughs> there's an extra part you can sign a waiver <laughs> yeah. for. Yeah. You go to Disney World, Dotted you get line. molested a bit. Everybody's having fun. Um but yeah, that was like yeah, it was um it's creative. And it's also just like no bullshit. It's like it understands what ah! It understands what it is. Oh. It's like we're gonna do some 4D gimmicks. Bad doggy. You piss. Oh, there's a, there's a lot of good dog murder in this game. You'll like it. <laughs> You're gonna like this. Fuck part. you! I've gotta, <laughs> gonna I like gotta heal. I gotta heal. I Fuck! <laughs> I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Heal! Heal! What are you doing? Also, heal, some doggy. Adam dying. That's fun too. Heal. It's win-win. No, but the dogs Fuck think you. the dogs think you're saying heal, so they're coming to stand <laughs> beside you. No, oh, no bitey. Oh, right in the fucking leg. Oh, oh, heart. <laughs> anyway, that was a creative, surprising, fun uh, ride. I enjoyed it. Cool. Um, yeah, it was good for kids and adults. It uh, it worked out. And uh, I'm gonna commandeer this. I'm gonna grab the chicken. I'll be right back. Hey there. And this was this was what theme park of Disney World? Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom. Get me in! Wait and see. This is not your best comedy. Epcot work. was always my favorite. Too multicultural for me. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. Very matter of fact. Oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> that tracks. I did remember that about you. <laughs> it's been a while, but. There's one All thing right. I remember. It was your lack of desire for cultural uh, <laughs> diversity. <laughs> okay. 